This unit keeps needing to be recharged. There's an obvious leak somewhere. Going to let that fall out. I already found the leak on this unit the other day. I did do a leak search out here at the condenser. I found nothing. I did find the leak at the air handler on one of the distributor tubes on one of those small tubes. So this is gonna be this is gonna be a fun one. Valves open, getting all the air out. I want to zero out my scale to see how much I'm pulling out. This is recovering. I'm going to go set up at the air handler. this valve core on the liquid line. Hook up my nitrogen. Open this up all the way. And now just purging all the air and excess refrigerant out. And we're gonna set the braze right there. And that's gonna keep any air from coming out. And we need an exit point for the nitrogen, so that's why I took that valve core out. Just do about 50 PSI to see if I got it. Go ahead and put some more pressure on. What was supposed to be a quick fix has turned into a nightmare.
There's my vacuum pump set up with the two valve core removal tools as always in my machine. I'm gonna go ahead and button this unit up while this is pulling down on vacuum. I've had this on vacuum for about 45 minutes. Uh, there's still a leak in here somewhere. I'm gonna recommend uh, system replacement. This one is gonna be a fail, but that's what I get for trying to repair a leak on a 25 year old air handler not do not recommend it and I'm not going to be putting R22 back in I will be putting R422B in to get this person cooling until we can get that system replaced Make sure both valves are closed I mean, it's not shooting up. We may be leak free. There just may be some crap in there that I need to spend some more time to get out. I'm gonna shut down on that. Throttle that a little bit. Got my new 22 sticker. Got my clamps hooked up. And we can charge like this. And and just just to be aware, it's going to be super fast charging without uh, valve cores. This is a piston, so we charge by superheat. We need to find our target superheat by taking our indoor wet bulb and outdoor dry bulb. So our target superheat is 10. And these are very quick spurts. Remember, no Schrader valve. There's our final reading. Now to pack up the probes and reinstall the valve cores. 10 is back up and cooling. About the repair, I'm not super proud of that at all. I would have loved to get below 500 microns at the very least, but this system's almost 30 years old. It's been gauged up probably 200 times, and I just don't have time to fix it right. I'm recommending replacement on that evap coil because I don't even know how long my repair is gonna hold. Hopefully, it holds for the rest of the summer. I don't know, we'll see, but thanks for watching. See you on the next one.